haven't had breakfast. I'm very hungry. Do you have any recommendations? You can steam and uh, get some uh, crumbs, crunchy donuts. What's up, buddy? Can you get some crumbs? Yeah, yeah. Can make up some. Eat up. Oh, eat it up. It's like three bells. Stephen Gillen. What do we do? Uh, what do we watch? No. Night of Sin. We watch the letter Night of Sin, which is uh, every fourth Friday of the month. After Tales from the Box. After Tales from the Box at the Chat Noir, Augusta. Come out and join us. Fun times. Join them. Tales from the Box, good times. Laugh. Fun Improv. Fun. Laugh at bad movies. Yes. Or enjoy them. You watched Bad Taste. Yes. Not only was it a bad movie, it was a bad taste. It left a very bad taste in my mouth. This is your first time. It was my first time ever seeing it, yes. And it was my experience. It was, well, like I said, for me, it was it was a good movie, of course. It's uh, Peter Jackson's first movie. Mm -hmm. Shoestring budget. $30,000? Thirty grand, yes. Um, I think it was different for me because I'm used to everyone in the audience yelling at the, at the screen. And that didn't happen because everybody was fully involved. <laughs> so what threw, is me, this? <laughs> threw me for a loop. <laughs> this is the usual. Um, but I think Dan Beck has the anopsis. The anopsis? I have the anopsis. Or the synopsis. It's from the IMDB. The uh, anopsis is the population of a small town disappears and is replaced by aliens that chase human flesh for their intergalactic fast food chain. They chase it. That's what it's this Based on a true story. Chase human flesh. Probably in Australia. New Zealand. Oh, yeah. You get mad about that. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry Peter. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I, I, this is by, when I was getting into enjoying bad films, like after Mystery Science Theater type stuff, this is one of the first ones I found and watched. I found this like at a Suncoast before they went out of business. And I remember the cover. It's like this alien doing a peace sign. But the one I'd recognize was the one giving the finger. I'm like, what, what happened? Why did they change the picture? So yeah. I, I, PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And knowing this is Peter Jackson's first film, I was like, what? I was like, I'm excited. Because I liked the Frighteners at the time. So I, 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 liked, I liked it a lot. I liked it too. And then to hear the tales of how it came about. Yeah. Four years. Four years. I don't know what to say. It took Peter Jackson four years to make it. And I think his lead, a lot of his lead actors, like one guy couldn't shave the duration. Taking four years to make a movie. <laughs> uh, who's heard of such a thing? <laughs> I got one year up on him. 
One of his actors, his wife at the time, says, I don't want you doing this anymore, so I was taking up all the weekends and time. She's like, quit, so he had to quit. And then they ended up getting a divorce, and he's like, Peter, I'm single again. I can finish the movie. He's like, come on. We're not done yet. So his scenes, he didn't have to wear a mask anymore. And I, Peter Jackson fights himself. He does. He does. There was, I like the special effects for the time. Yeah, they were good. There's brain eating activity and falling. I just, yeah, like I said, it was my first time I was torn between actually paying attention to what was going on versus, you know, enjoying the bad movie atmosphere. So right. I'll have to definitely watch it again. I would recommend that. No, I'll borrow it. I don't have it. I'll borrow it. I, I really enjoyed the the science guy, kind of like when he busted his head up, but he has to keep like putting it back. He has to bandana his head, head up so his brain does not leak out. Mm. Yeah. His name is Derek. Derek. He said something like, a Derek, a Derek doesn't run or something like that. I told him like, to run because they let you come. He's like, Derek, Derek doesn't run. He had a, good, a bunch of good ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was all around fun movie, I thought. Did you catch the Doctor Who reference? I did not. There he's Who's wearing this? Doctor Who. Oh. Who? Oh, man. He's wearing uh, the scarf. Like the, Tom Baker? Yeah, yeah, like the long stripes. That was, I guess, his homage to you. Doctor Who. I'm a Who fan. I haven't watched any Doctor Who. Not an area. you got about 30 years to go. Exactly. Catch up on our next review will do the entire season of Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? All 60 years. <laughs> but it, it had, like, uh, like you said, good special effects and stuff. It utilized miniatures. Yeah. The house was a miniature. The house that took off into space. Yeah. Spoiler alert. But, it, I mean, it, they blew it up. There was, like, all kinds of good stuff. Their guns, they weren't they the same guns that they used in Star Wars? Like, the same model? The Empire. I, I don't know, maybe you told me that. They, they had that same look. And I, I think I read that they can only fire one blank. Should we ask uh, Lil Gil? Lil, Lil Gil. He's over there. Did, uh, was that the same gun? The firearms in the film are non functional replicas made by Peter Jackson. For example, what appears to be a World War II Sterling machine gun is actually a length of aluminum pipe and a handle made from FEMO, and a piece of wood to stand in for the ammunition magazine. The actor shook the props to simulate recoil, and the muzzle flashes were added in post-production, unlike all the garbage Stephen just told us. So they, uh, Thank you. Answer. They can only do one fire at a time. I believe they had to like keep on like looping it or something. I know they, they might have added some Flashes. Jeremy saw it with us. Yeah. What do you think, Jeremy? I knew. Is that your first time? Yep. First time watching. I thought it was good. All right. That's Jeremy. <laughs> I like the uh, the head alien guy. This is the way he talked. Oh, today we are going to eat humans. Sin crime. <laughs> it's time to uh, rate it. Poop scale? Yeah. One to five. Start with me. I, I'm going to give this a five poops. I, I like it. I've seen this multiple times. Full blown diarrhea. Yep. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's a fun movie. And I applaud Peter Jackson for doing it, getting it done. Yeah. I don't think Peter Jackson can do wrong. Even his first movie it seems to be relatively awesome. King Kong. I'm sorry. <laughs>
to get it faster. Yeah, 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 I got it. I, I, I saw I the visual. It. What, what is it? Nope. <laughs> <It's> too light. <laughs> Dan, what do you think? I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it four boots. I enjoyed it. First time I watched it, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it probably more when I watched yeah, it again. That's what I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a it's a good all around movie. I, I think because it it seems to draw from action movies. There's a lot of running around, a lot of gun shooting, a lot of gore and blood. Yeah, I mean, it's like a he just like took everything that he liked at the time, and put it in a bowl, mixed it up. Nom, nom, nom. And that's why it gets four groups for me. John, can I hit that? That it? Yeah, I think so. Go watch Bad Taste. Because it's so good. Mm. Give us a like or subscribe. Something. And yeah. And we'll see you next time. See you next see time. See you next time. Bye.